Hey everyone, in this video I will be comparing AnyDesk and TeamViewer. I will be telling you the differences between them, uh, what both of them are, and which one you should uh, go for or choose. Uh, so both are actually one of the best uh, remote access tools, or platforms I should say. And remote access means uh, they allow you to connect and access a remote device, network, or server from your own personal uh, computer. Or in the case of any desk, you can use computer, a mobile phone, and others, a tablet. I will get to that later. And same goes for TeamViewer. It also supports multiple platforms. So let's just start actually by talking about the platforms. So TeamViewer, this one right here supports Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, uh, and Chrome OS. And for any desk, it supports the same uh, platform. So Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, uh, and Chrome, I, Chrome OS, and also free BSD. So now that we know uh, what both of them are basically they are remote access tools again I say that which allows you to just connect and access uh, devices or systems or servers maybe uh, by using your own device and maybe even controlling them in certain uh, instances so if we go to to any desk here we will find if we scroll a little bit down or my bad if you go to uh, why any desk and we just click on the futures we will find uh, many of the futures listed in here which I will not go into detail about uh, because I, will, I have a notepad with bullet points comparing the two so it will have a lot of these but to make it simple desktop sharing is basically going to be the main focus here which is going to be view the screen of another device or share your monitor with other users. It has interactive access, so you can control keyboard and mouse of another device, which you will be able to connect to. You can transfer uh, files. It has wake on LAN, for example, which can turn on devices from sleep mode while just connecting to them remotely, which is great if you have uh, your partner is AFK or something and their computer sleeps you can simply just turn on using any desk so it has some of these key features you can also remote printing which allows you to print within your remote uh, device or connection and one of the key features of any desk is going to be unattended access which will allow you to access remote device with a password without having to accept the remote session manually meaning you don't usually when you want to connect to a device you would have to uh, uh, to get their permission first and allow them but with this you can just set a password for certain uh, servers or uh, devices uh, and then you will just be able to use that password in order to just connect automatically without having to get their permission anymore uh, this can be set up uh, manually and just you can you can ha work or do a lot of things using it. It's very very useful and I think it's only included in any desk, which is very nice. You can uh, manage the devices using your mobile device, desktop sharing, and uh, here we just went back and through now that's for the access and control you also have features for administration and customization you can read about that all in here uh, any desk is really simple to get to know the features they have because it's all in here in your face and for the security we have a lot of measures here to ensure your security like two-factor authentication permission management uh, privacy mode whitelist whitelist is very very nice you can restrict access to your device and allow only certain devices to con contact you which you will specify the devices and you will be able to use that for your advantage if you have a larger uh, 
people to work with screen frame and all those things are for security so you can see it's very very secure for a team viewer uh, if we go to their website we don't really uh, get the future or the futures as visible as any desk has but don't worry as i said i will go to my notepad that i personally created which will list a lot of differences between them uh, from pricing to futures but here in the interface you can just see connect to any device and manage monitor uh, manage and monitor your it anytime anywhere which is the, basically the uh, premise of both uh, platforms any desk and team viewer you simply just access and manage uh, remote devices as it says here some of the things to note connect instantly to offer support which is mostly what it's used for offer support for someone else solve issues or troubleshoot and provide training support colleagues and customers across the globe and remotely access the devices and servers you need just using your device now if we go ahead and just open up our uh, notepad here we can see a lot of uh, the things highlighted as to start the pricing but first let's read from the top they are both remote access tools like i told you they allow you to connect connect and access a remote device network or server from anywhere in the world as long as, as they have internet connection and they accept this uh, uh if they uh, give you permission obviously so let's go for the pricing for any desk uh i'm just going to highlight some of the things so first things first it's actually for free if you want to use it for personal use so if it's non-commercial use you can use it for free completely for free obviously there are going to be some features that are not going to be included but generally speaking you can use any desk for free if it's personal use uh, meaning if you are going to just use it between you and your friends uh, maybe you want to help a family member with their own device using your own device and then just connecting to them and helping them out uh, basically if you're doing all of these services without being paid that is going to be or account for personal use if it's a commercial use you get paid for it you're offering support or training to other people and you get paid for it then you would actually go ahead and check out the plans which also is going to uh, offer you many features to uh, use and utilize so they have three plans any desk they have three uh, plans or i should say four but for now let's just say three we have the solo plan which is going to be 12.90 per month if billed annually uh, we have the standard which is 25.90 so 26 basically dollars per month billed annually and advanced which is going to be pretty much 78 if paid yearly now it includes things like one licensed user within with three login devices so only you uh with one outgoing connection uh and up to 100 managed devices unlimited devices to connect to which is very nice and then you have these other things i'm not going to really uh go through everything in here because this is going to take a lot of time but you can just pause the video and see what this plan uh, offers you and for the standard plan 20 licensed users so 20 users can use it so this is a team effort kind of plan which is very very excellent and starts with well one outgoing connection uh, 500 managed devices unlimited uh, devices to connect to basically it takes everything from here and adds to it some of this stuff and same here for advanced it takes everything from both and just adds more numbers as you can see and also like group policies phone support mass deployment things like that are going to be added with the advanced plan they also have the ultimate plan which is why i was saying four or three now this is going to be a custom it doesn't really have a specific uh price to it you contact them and then depending on your company 
uh, they will give you or talk to you about the price and deals so what about team viewer team viewer is also free for personal use so if it's non-commercial use like i said helping a friend out using it for your own personal use without getting paid for it you can use it absolutely for free and it also may lack some features but it offers you uh four plans i believe the team viewer remote access which is the uh least uh amount the the uh, lowest plan that you can get 19 or 20 dollars a month uh paid yearly and includes one licensed user uh co-current connections are going to be one three managed devices unlimited devices to connect from three computers to connect to so uh that's make sure you make the difference between these two and the sessions as here as well the team viewer business is going to be 45 or 46 per month which is also annually and includes these things. Like I said, it takes everything from the previous one and adds to it. Now, these two are going to be for solo uh, uh, users. The next ones are going to be for team management. Uh, so the team viewer premium is going to be the first one for the team management and it's uh, for 97 uh, per month annually. And it gives you 15 licensed users and everything else in here. And for the last one, which is going to be Team Viewer Corporate, is going to be a 195 per month annually, and it includes their users and all of those things. So, as you can see, Team Viewer is obviously from it's on the more expensive side, but it should be able to help you a lot more with your team if you have a larger business uh scale wise you may want to opt in for team viewer but that doesn't really necessarily mean they have better features it's just more suitable for teamwork and i will highlight one more feature which should uh solidify this statement that it's better for team management but that does not mean it's in any way else better than any desk i'm not saying that just for team management, I think Team Viewer is best, as the as the name even entails, Team Viewer. Anyways, moving down, I wrote some of the key features for both. Now, the, these key features can be um, really going both ways, so both can have these uh, features, but these are going to be what uh, are highlighted within uh, any desk and Team Viewer. For any desk, you can whitelist, which we talked about, selected devices and users and allow them to access specific systems without needing permission. This is very, very uh, useful and can be important uh, to use. You have the user interface is very easy to use and it allows, it allows you to simplify any task you will perform uh, and it is widget based. That means you can have quick commands and just do things basically within a click of a button. So the interface is very user friendly and that's very nice. Supports multiple languages. So if you're not very uh, good with English, this should be a key feature. Uh, remote server monitoring feature. So remote server monitoring will uh, allow you to monitor. Let, let me just read this which just like the name suggests, will allow you to monitor workstations on a server. This helps you seamlessly install applications and do other actions like transfer files, troubleshoot occurring problems remotely. And it, it allows you to remotely access computer systems from your Android, iOS, and Android or, or iOS mobile devices, which is very, excellent this way you, you don't really go need to go out of your way and have your pc ready all the time you can just use your phone and uh have access for on the computer systems remotely and you can just do uh tasks like uh use the printer file transfer uh desktop access uh, restart computers 
those are going to be available for you within your phone. You just simply need uh, the AnyDesk application, which you can download for free. And obviously you just connect your uh, account and you should be good to go. So if you read here, you simply need the AnyDesk application on your phone and then you will be able to file, transfer, print, uh, and desktop access and other actions from the computer all while you're just using your mobile device, which is very, very nice. Now for the team viewer, we can just read through this quickly. It includes built-in tools that allow you to contact remote users in text, audio calls, or even video calls format. This was the um, uh, thing that I was talking about, uh, which allows or makes TeamViewer better for team management. It allows you to actually do video calls or audio calls within the TeamViewer itself. Uh, so this is going to make your life much easier to contact them and exchange information with them on the go without having to access different third-party apps and things like that. AnyDesk, I believe, only has the in-text format for contacting your remote users. But here you can actually video call them or even just have calls with them. Uh, so this is one of the most key features with uh, Team Viewer. It also allows you to send commands to system uh, systems or hardware. This allows you to take actions like printing or restart or even shut down the system and use the uh, mouse or cursor. All within a safe environment, obviously. Uh, it offers cloud-based management to help you access TeamViewer without installing software. So you can just use the browser and you should be good to go without actually getting uh, the need or having the need to get TeamViewer application. Uh, now this can be actually very convenient for many people. And lastly here, uh, it takes so many measures for security. So ensure that you will have a secure experience uh, with using the tools provided by TeamViewer. Now, even any desk, as I showed you earlier, has other measures uh, or means of measures to control uh, the security aspect to it. So now keeping all of that in mind, it is actually up to you to decide which one suits you best. You need to keep uh, the pricing in plan uh, in, in mind and as well as the futures. Maybe, maybe even the interface could be the thing that changes your perspective. But either way, I need to say that both are very excellent and used uh, worldwide by many, many large companies. So you won't go wrong by picking one over the other. Um, if you find a future that is la lacking within a different platform, so for example, if you find a future that any desk has, you may be uh, keen to go for it. And then if you go for it, I doubt that you would regret it. And same goes for a team viewer. If you like, for example, this uh, tool for the audio calls or video calls and you like it and you decide to go for team viewer, you won't really regret it. Like I said, both are very excellent platforms. So with that being said, I think that's all I have for you for this video. And thanks for watching.